Karen Pokrant, a drawing and photography teacher at Dobson, took her students to the Arizona State Fair to see their award-winning photographs on display. Several Dobson students participated and placed in the statewide competition for high school students. Photographers from Arizona Highways Magazine awarded the ribbons. Ms. Pokrant enjoys working with both the CTE and the art departments. I think art in general um, is just part of the whole student, their intellect, their physical being, and then their creative side. We talked to five students who won ribbons for their photographs. Sonia is a senior. My photography teacher said that any high school student can enter into this contest, and so I thought, oh, this would be something great to be a part of. And so after that, she said, she looked at my pictures and she thought that a couple of them were really good. I was on a trip to New York with my dance company, actually. And this is right next to Rockefeller Center, right where all the flags are, and it's the GE building. Um, and I thought it was a really cool building, so I just took a picture of it, and I didn't even mean to shoot it the way it it I guess it turned out better than I thought, so it was just kind of a lucky thing. Alicia and Selena are freshmen. It's actually a bus, so I was on the freeway, on the side of the freeway, and I took, I just snapped the shot. My dad helped me out, and then I held it down because it, it's a night photography picture, and it was kind of difficult, but it came out, and I went third place. <laughs> The bus actually started over here and it was driving, so it moved over this way. So the lights were streaming as the bus was moving. I like photography because you get to take something that's already existing and make it into something that you want it to be. This one I took during the monsoon when it was, when there was lightning everywhere, <laughs> during a lightning storm. And then this one I took at Ellis Island in a museum uh, in New York. And it's like an immigrant island, so uh, this was a picture of a plaque, and it had everything that they went through and everything that they encountered um, on trying to become a citizen of the United States. Destiny, a junior, loves taking portraits of her little brother. Uh, well, this is my brother. His name is Drew. I always do him for my portraits. I took him outside on our balcony, and it was like dark over here, and there's light over there, and I got really, like, close to his face and I put more of his body out in the light than in the dark so then it would look like that. Raymond, another junior, took his award-winning photo on a beach in California. I was in California and we were playing volleyball so that's why you see the volleyball net right there. We were playing volleyball one day and then I had my camera and before we left I was I thought that looked really cool so I took the picture I just took it I photoshopped it, like used, I used exposure, or, um, sharpen, it, it helped a lot with the picture. I think it's just it's, it's fun, entertaining. Karen Pokrant sees a bright future for many of her students, including Raymond. Raymond Navarro, who won first place in this exhibition, talks about it, you know, every time he has a meeting with his parents or his counselors, this is what I plan on going into. I'm going to attend either Phoenix Art Institute or California Institute. He, he might go to Los Angeles, but it's in, it's just in him. He now feels that this is what he wants to do because of CTE courses here and the technology in the labs. A lot of our students get hooked on photography and become children of the art department. Um, that's what we call them. They don't want to leave here. They're at lunch after school um, and they continue the courses that from um, beginner to intermediate advanced. All five students plan to continue taking pictures in the future. I would love to do it for college. It's really fun to do. I like to do it as a profession. Since I won this photo I thought, oh, okay, well I'm gonna get more into this now. I'm looking to go into college and get a good career of photography after that. I would really like to go to an art institute to uh, do digital photography. Um, I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> I plan on doing it with bands and taking pictures of them when they're doing their shows and doing portraits for people and probably doing landscapes for people if they want that. The CTE Digital Photography Program of Study at Dobson High School is giving students at Dobson an opportunity to improve their skills using technology and creativity.